Woo! Looking freaking fire! Don't we all just love denim? It's timeless, it's versatile, not to mention it's pretty much fun indestructible. Conor McGregor shouldn't even bother getting a titanium shin bone. He should have gone. I'm gonna get myself a denim shin bone. What the fuck? So guys, in today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how I style denim and how I think is the best way to style denim. From jeans to jean jackets, all of the above, guys. We're gonna go through all of that today. So without wasting any more time, let's do this shit. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is color. When it comes to denim colors, guys, you can literally get anything. They've literally got everything on the market now when it comes to colors. As you guys know, I'm not the brightest little butterfly. I'm one of those basic ass dudes that just wears neutral colors all the time. The exception of denim, I do wear blue denim, so I'm not always neutral. So when it comes to styling blue denim, it can be a little bit tricky, guys, because blue is not the easiest color to match. Typically, I tend to stick with three colors. Well, they're really shades. I stick with blacks, grays, whites. Those are the three that I normally stick with because they're the easiest to match. Not to say that you can't actually match with other colors, guys, because I've also worn red with blue before, which I think looks pretty good as well. Another option you got is doing a monochromatic outfit. So you could go for your blue jeans with a blue crew neck that can look really sick as well too now for black denim you can literally play with every spectrum of color because black is a neutral color it goes with everything guys you're not going to have that color clashing that you'd get if you were using blue so if you guys wanted to go black and yellow and do the whole Wiz Khalifa yeah ah, uh, you know what it is you guys remember that song, that song was fire. But the point is, is you guys can literally play with any colors, guys, and it's gonna match with those black denim pieces. Now, one of the other colors I like to play with is beige, and I think beige can look really good with lots of different colors. I think baby blue looks really good with beige, but one of my favorites is actually white and beige. I think it's just super clean, just nice and minimal. <laughs> I don't know why I did that with my face, but it's just, it's such a clean look, guys. But then again, it is also neutral, just like with your blacks, you can go with anything you guys want. All right, number two is your shoes. As for your shoes, you don't wanna be buying a new pair of shoes for each outfit because you haven't bought a versatile shoe guys so you want to make sure that you're buying a versatile shoe you guys already know where this is going i'm gonna say buy white shoes buy black shoes those are the most versatile they're gonna go with every outfit one of the other things that's very important guys is you want to make sure that you are aware of the style of jeans that you're wearing right now in the trends we got straight jeans and more relaxed fit jeans and i'm i've been rocking those too recently so you do have to be aware of what shoes you're buying obviously you don't want a rail of a shoe or is your pants are just gonna engulf it and it's gonna look kind of stupid. So you want to be looking for chunkier sneakers if you are repping those types of pants. Sneakers like Dunks, Air Force Ones, Balenciagas if you got the money, you know, Yeezy 500. The chunkier sneakers guys are going to look the best with that aesthetic so that you don't look too off when you've got a really small sneaker and some wider pants. Third thing we're going to talk about is what not to do. There's only a few things that you shouldn't do. If you guys have paid attention to the beginning of the video, you would have seen that I was wearing something that is actually called a Canadian tuxedo, which is where I was wearing all denim. Like that shit looks like trash. Unless you guys are trying to look like Marty McFly. Then again, Marty McFly was pulling in that video, so maybe you don't want to listen to me then. <laughs> but guys, personally, I don't think the same color denim and denim looks very good. Like if you have a blue denim jacket with blue denim pants, it just it just doesn't look good, guys. It looks good though if you are wearing two different colors of denim. Like if you wanna wear a blue denim jacket and you wear some black denim pants, that can look really good. Or if you wanted to wear a black denim jacket with white denim pants, that can look really good too. Just try to avoid wearing denim pieces that are almost the exact same in color because it just doesn't look very good, guys. Number four is layering. Obviously when I'm talking about layering, I'm not talking about your pants because could you imagine you're up to a girl's house you're like i'm finna smash and you're wearing like shorts over top of your jeans i'm obviously talking about your upper layers your denim jackets your denim long sleeves so for denim jackets it's a pretty versatile piece guys because you can dress it up and you can dress it down you can go for something super minimal something super basic just like throwing on a t-shirt plain tee underneath guys with a little bit of jewelry can look really clean you know black white gray tee is gonna always gonna look good and it's gonna look super simple and clean if you guys want to go for a more comfy look it's a little bit colder outside you know throw a hoodie underneath it and that's gonna give you you an alternate look as well. And then if you guys wanted to get a little bit more sophisticated, you want to feel like Jason Statham, you can throw a turtleneck underneath it, guys, and that can give you a completely different look. Of course, the jean jacket is casual, but then that other piece is a little bit more dapper, so then you get the combination of both. Now, as for denim shirts, you guys can either layer on top of that or you can layer underneath it. If you guys wanted to throw on a bomber jacket, a puffer jacket with neutral colors over top, that can look really sick. And then you can also layer underneath it if you wanted to, too. You could have it open with a white t-shirt underneath, black t-shirt 
t-shirt underneath and that's gonna look pretty sick or even a tank top will look pretty good as well so guys that is how I style denim that is the easiest way for me to explain it to you guys but before we finish off today's video we do need to choose our next two legends to go up on the board the next two legends to go up on the board boys is Luca and Jackson shout out to the boys for getting up on the board big legends in the house guys and that is it for today's video guys if you enjoyed this tutorial on how to style denim please smash that like button hit that subscribe button I was gonna say let's do this shit but I'll see you in the next video you're bro Brandon peace out take care <laughs>